Kumusta mga kaguro? Nandit na naman ako muli upang magbahagi sa inyo ng aking nalalaman. Opo, kani-kani na lang, fresh na fresh pa. Natutunan ko ang isang magandang idea ito. Care of Death Ed EdTech Unit sa pamumuno ni Sir Mark C. Yes, sa pamamagitan lamang ng inyong PowerPoint presentation, maaari mo na itong gamitin bilang isang video tutorial. Ayan, ituturo ko na sa inyo. Hindi ko na patatagalin pa. Siyempre, unang-una, kailangan nakaredy na ang iyong PowerPoint presentation. Alam ko, lahat ng guro, ang kanyang mga lesson, ang kanyang mga topic ay naka-PowerPoint na. Ngayon, dahil sa pandemic na nararanasan natin, maaaring hindi na tayo magkaroon ng face-to-face -face or magkakaroon man, ito ay limitado lamang. Kaya, ang sagot dyan, ipapadala natin ang ating video tutorial sa ating mga mag-aaral at panonoorin na nila ng sarili at pwede niyang makuha ang lesson na ating nais ibahagi. Okay, tip ko lamang po ha. Ito ay mga tips kapag gumagawa tayo ng PowerPoint presentation. Unang-una, kailangan you are prepared. Tapat, preparado, maganda ang pagkakagawa. And it should have a clear message. Kailangan yung nais mo iparating ay napakaliwanag sa pumamagitan ng paggawa mo ng PowerPoint presentation. Pangalawa, use the right colors for a contrasty presentation. Kailangan paggagamit tayo ng mga background color ay contrasty doon sa mga words na ginagamit natin. Ibig sabihin, pag gumamit tayo ng background na light, kailangan ng ating mga words ay nasa dark color. Kung gumamit naman tayo ng mga dark background, dapat ang ating mga words or font letters should be in a light color. Alam nyo naman yan, di ba? At pangatlo, use a larger text size. Bakit? Para readable. Para basang-basa, lalo na ang ating mga learners ang magbabasa. Kailangan mabasa nila at malalaki ang mga font style natin or text size. Pang-apat, write clean and do not complicate it. Huwag na tayo maglalagay ng kung ano-anong klaseng animation. Yung nagbi-blink-blink, yung nagliliparan ang mga letters. You just put a simple one, yet elegant. Number five, use few words and lines and as much as possible. No more than one message per image. Capsulize. It should be uh, naka-outline na ang ating mga Uh, important words or lessons, hindi mo ilalagay ang buong paragraph kasi maboboring ang ating mga learners. Number six, let the graphics and shapes support your message. Ngayon, kung maglalagay ka man ng mga graphics, it should be connected doon sa lesson na iyong pinipresent. ba? Diba? At ang panghuli, use landscape or portrait images. Not both. Huwag mong paghahaluin. Kung ang mga size mo ay naka-landscape, you have to be uniform. It should be landscape. And if it is portrait, be consistent. Naka-portrait din. Okay. So, ayan ang ating mga tips sa paggawa ng PowerPoint. Uulitin ko, kapag ikaw ay gumagawa, it should be simple yet elegant. Sabi nga ni Sir Mark, it should be professionally done. So, handa na ba kayo mga kaguro? Okay, ito ang step-by-step step sa paggawa ng video using your PowerPoint presentation. Starting, of course, meron ka na dapat naka-reading PowerPoint. So, let's talk about this. This is my ready-made PowerPoint. So, I'll give you an example. Okay, so you open your PowerPoint presentation. Okay, then proceed to... Okay, depende ito sa inyong ginagamit na MS PowerPoint. Okay, sa aking case, wala kang makikitang recording sa taas. No? Yung ating uh, mga options dyan, wala ang recording. Pero kung nakikita mo na dyan, may nakasingit dito, recording, yun ang inyong i-click. Pero dahil wala, ako ay pupunta sa 
insert. Okay, kung walang nakalagay na recording doon yung sa tab, pupunta ka sa insert. Again, insert. Click insert. Ayan. Pagkatapos mo i-click ang insert, pupunta ka doon sa right corner sa dulong dulo. Ito po yun. Click screen recording. Ayan. Ayan, makikita nyo medyo blurred. Bakit? Kasi kailangan i-select mo yung area. Ayan, nakikita nyo to. Select area para malaman mo kung gaano ka-wide ka -wide ang screen na iyong gagamit. I-click mo lang yan. Ayan, nagki-clear na, di ba? Kasi gusto ko ganyan ka-wide ang screen ko. So, ayan, ready na tayo. Then, balik ka ulit sa PowerPoint mo. I-ready mo na siya. Kailangan naka-slideshow ka na para unti-unti ka na. Ayan, naka-slideshow ka na. You can start now your video. Pipindutin mo lamang itong record. Okay, pero bago ka pumintod ng record, kailangan naka-ready ka na. Kailangan may script ka. Paano gumawa ka ng sarili mong script para dire-diretso at maganda ang flow ng inyong presentation? Okay. Ngayon, syempre, yung cursor natin, kung gusto nating pagandahin, i-control L lang natin. Again, control L. Control L. Ayan. ba diba? nakikita nyo na yung red mark. Ayan. So, handang-handa na ba kayo? So, magsasample tayo ha. Kung usual, kung anong usual ang iyong presentation, kung paano ka nagtuturo, you have to deliver it clearly. Para ang mga batang manunood ng ating video ay kailangang nakatingin at attentive. Kasi nga, na-amaze sila sa iyong presentation. Kailangan modulated ang iyong voice. Kailangan nakaredy rin yung audio mo, ano? Kailangan maayos ang audio mo. Pwede kang gumamit ng microphone. May mga nabibili ng microphone. Ako bibili na para mas lalo pang gumanda ang aking voice. So, handa naman kayo. So, magsasample na tayo ng ating short script lamang ang aking gagawin, ha? Okay, so, starting with, pipindutin mo na kapag ikaw ay magsisimula na ng iyong recording. Click lamang ito. Record. Handa na ba kayo? Okay? So, handa na. I-ready mo na ang iyong script. Okay. Ready. Timer, Timer starts now. Welcome, my grade 5 pupils. This is our quarter week 1. Today, we will be discussing all about the visibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. Before we continue our lesson proper, let us first know some key points in our lesson. First, the visibility rules. When we say the visibility rules, it could be easily test if one number can be exactly divided by another. The second one, divisible by. When we say divisible by, when you divide one number by another, the result is a whole number or there is no remainder. The third one, when we say whole numbers, let's talk about simply numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the last key point is factor. When we say factor, when a number is divisible by a number B, then number B is a factor of number A. Okay, kids, let us now proceed to our first topic. The visibility rule for number 2. When we say number is divisible by 2, if it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and we call that even numbers. Example, 48 is divisible by 2 because its last digit is 8. Thus, 2 is a factor of 48. Is 96 divisible by 2? Why? What do you think? Yes, you are correct. Yes, because its last digit is 6 and 6 is an even number and that is divisible by 2 or a factor of 2. So, for example, you continue your discussion, your practice exercises. No, then after that you, you have done all your presentation, 
you will proceed now to the upper corner and you click this square and that means you stop and that's it ayan nakarecord na ang iyong powerpoint presentation nandito na yan nakikita nyo ba yan okay so what is the next step that you are going to do yes yung iyong ginawa just right click again right click right click lamang then hanapin nyo ito save media as again save media as click mo lang yan then lagyan mo ng file name syempre para ma ma mahanap mo agad ayan na by 2 5 and 10 lagyan natin video file ayan ayan na po then dapat alam mo kung saan mo siya nilagay okay so ayan sa desktop natin then save hanapin na natin kung saan ba natin makikita ayan ayun andito na yung ating video now i-click na natin ang video at panoorin natin ang aking ginawang video recording. Welcome, my grade 5 pupils. This is our first quarter week 1. Today, we will be discussing all about the visibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. Before we continue our lesson proper, let us first know some key points in our lesson. Starting with the visibility rules. When we say the visibility rules, it could be easily test if one number can be exactly divided by another. The second one, divisible by. When you divide one number by another, the result is a whole number. When we say whole number, there should be no remainder. The third one, whole numbers. When we say whole numbers, it simply talks about numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And for the last key point, factor. When we say factor, when a number A is divisible by a number B, then, number B is a factor of number A. So, okay kids, let us now proceed to our first topic. We have the visibility rule for number 2. When we say a number is divisible by 2, if it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, and we call that, even numbers okay that is even number now example 48 is divisible by 2 because its last digit is 8 thus 2 is a factor of 48 is 96 divisible by 2 why very good Yes, because its last digit is 6, and 6 is an even number. Therefore, 96 is divisible by 2 and also a factor of 2. At yan ang ating simple PowerPoint presentation converted to video. Sana naman nakuha niyo ang ating way kung paano ito gawin at sana'y nakatulong po ako sa inyo mga minamahal kong kaguro. At sa muli nating pag-uusap, ako ang inyong Sir Marvin, Simply Marbs, Happy Learning!